In this video, we'll discuss pupillary light reflex. How does pupillary light reflex work? Pupillary light reflex has two arms. The afferent limb is carried by the optic nerve and the efferent limb, which brings back impulse to cause pupillary muscle constriction, is carried by the oculomotor nerve. The optic nerve fiber passes to the pretector nucleus and the superior colliculus, and from there, the optic nerve fiber passes to adinger westphal nucleus of the oculomotor nerve bilaterally. So, what's the importance of bilateral innervation that when light falls on one pupil it constricts both pupil. Constriction of the other pupil is known as the consensual light reflex. Midbrain nuclei are involved in controlling the size of the pupil and also coordinating movement. Ocular motor nerve passes from the Edinburgh Westfall nucleus to the ciliary ganglion and to the sphincter muscle of the iris. The muscles of the iris are two types constrictor and dilator. The constrictor or sphincters are supplied by the ocular motor nerve and the dilators are supplied by by the cervical sympathetic nerves. The oculomotor nerve constricts the pupil in both eyes. Constriction of the other pupil is known as consensual light reflex, uh, as I already told.